What's up guys, Cooper Carter here for G66, and in this video, I wanna show you my 10 favorite mid-gain presets in the Fractal Audio Axe FX3. Now, just like in my clean presets video, the term mid-gain may mean a lot of different things to a lot of different players and a lot of different styles of music. Your idea of a mid-gain tone may be a kind of vintage crunch, sort of a Led Zeppelin-y or Beatles tone from the 60s or 70s. It could be a really sweet edge of breakup, bluesy tone, like a Stevie Ray Vaughan type vibe. Or your idea of mid-gain may be a modern indie rock crunch rhythm tone. Whatever your idea of mid-gain is, the Axe can deliver it in spades. So here are my 10 favorite presets that do the mid-gain thing really, really well. Okay, so here we are in Axe Edit 3, and I am looking at my first favorite preset, which is number 6, AC15. Now, you will notice with a lot of these presets that many of them have scenes that you can access that will change the sound of the preset in some way. So, for example, scene 1 here is a rhythm tone, scene 2 has a tremolo that comes on, scene 3 a chorus, scene 4 has a big atmosphere coming from this plex delay, and scene 5 has a lead coming from this drive pedal being turned on. So we can get a lot of different sounds out of a factory preset without making any changes at all except changing scene. I'm gonna play a little bit on the rhythm, a little bit on the chorus, and then a little bit on the lead. <laughs> So my next favorite mid-gain preset is the AC20, which is based on the Morgan AC20. This, I think, does the classic AC30 sound better than the actual AC30. And again, we have several scenes here, the uh, EF86 bass and treble and the 12 AX7 bass and treble, which are going to give you different flavors of the same amp. We're gonna listen first to the EF86, which is kind of my go-to setting, and then I'll switch over to the 12 AX7 treble. <coughs> All right, so my next favorite mid-gain preset is the Shiver preset number 19, which is based on the Shiva by Bogner. You have a clean channel and you have a lead channel. So let's check out the lead since this is a mid-gain and not a clean video. <laughs> Next we have number 50, the JTM45. This is an incredibly versatile amp. At its default settings in this preset, 
you are gonna have a nice mid-gain tone, but if you crank this amp up, it really, really cooks. <laughs> Fifty-four Brit Silver. This is a preset based around the sound of a Marshall Silver Jubilee. This is one of my all-time favorite presets in the Axfex period. One of my go-to amplifiers for live use. This is an incredibly versatile amp. It can do very, very clean. It can do mid-gain. It can do big, fat leads. <laughs> Now, if I go ahead and crank this master volume up a good bit and I crank this input drive up a bit, you are getting very much into the kind of Joe Bonamassa does Eric Johnson kind of tone. Uh, Joe Bonamassa toured with the Brit Silver for a long time and running it really hot gets you very much into that. <laughs> Number 67, Rekt. Now, Rekt is based around the Wrecker Express, which is based on a train wreck amplifier, a very rare hand-built amp that costs an absolute fortune if you can get one of those on eBay or Reverb or somewhere. Uh, very difficult to find. There are not a lot of them in the wild, and they sound absolutely amazing. This is another amplifier that is incredibly expressive throughout its range of just using the drive knob to really change the sound. And a fun behind the scenes fact, this is the preset 100% unchanged stock that was used during the Maroon 5 Super Bowl show in 2019 to play the live guitar solos that James Valentine was playing. He used this preset 100% stock out of the box. <laughs> Number 74, the ODS-100 HRM. Now this is the amplifier that I have used as my main live lead and the lead that I play in a lot of my YouTube videos for years at settings that are very, very close to what you're going to hear in this factory preset. Now, like with some of the others, there are two scenes in this preset. We have a normal and a mid, which is changing the tone of the amp. This is an absolutely amazing amp. I really encourage you guys to spend some time checking this one out. It's incredibly touch sensitive, and it's the kind of amplifier that really kind of makes you a better player. So let's listen to the normal and then the mid. <laughs> Number 
109 Limelight is of course based on the classic Rush tune Limelight. This is based around a high power Brilliant, which is based on a high watt amplifier. Just a classic early progressive rock tone, a big fat chorus on here. This is the Dimension 1, which along with Dimension 2 are my two favorite choruses in the unit. This is just a great tone and really there is only one kind of riff to play on this kind of tone to really know that this is a great preset. <laughs> And finally, we have number 111, Edge of Breakup. As the name says, this is an amplifier that is right on the edge of just going ballistic. And as such, you can play with your fingers, you can play with a pick, you can really adjust your dynamics, and the amp is going to change a whole lot according to how you are approaching your playing. So let's check that out. So there you have them, my 10 favorite mid-gain factory presets in the Axe FX3. I love all of those tones. Each of the presets are so usable, especially the ones with scenes where you have direct access to different sounds. But keep in mind, it's very, very easy to take these factory presets and tweak them just a little bit to suit your style of playing. Most of the sessions I've done, most of the times I play live, I am actually just using a completely stock factory preset with a few little adjustments to the gain or the tone or maybe one of the effects. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned to G66 for all things AxeFX3 and FM3 coming up, and stay tuned for a new video where I will be showing you my 10 favorite high game and lead presets in the AxeFX3. Until next time, keep rocking, take care. <laughs>